it's all about the shape of the haircut. Practice, practice, practice. There are no shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think men in general kind of forgot about the barber shop and what it means as a place, not just to get your haircut, but um, in um, society. society. Oh, society. I really think that a lot of men are gonna change because what people tend to forget about the barbershop is that we are specialized in men's haircuts. So the more men are finding out that, that the advice is more just about them, uh, I think that word's gonna spread. So, so I, I, I mean, it's hard for us because we don't know uh, um, the culture here, of course. But what's happening worldwide is that the barbershop is growing exponentially and I really think that's going to happen here too. Um, yes, but, well it's not bragging when it's the truth, right? But before we opened our shops there were no barbershops. And um, so before that you were kind of forced to go to the salon. These guys like the outro shop and there's a, a these are going to be the pioneers because these these were the first group these these hardcore little shops. So what you see here, the moment I walk in, I see the skateboards, I see the surfboards. So they are building a shop around their personalities. And I think that is super strong. But I think a barbershop is very important that you look at what the barber might do. Because there is a, a client for every barber and there is a barber for every client. See? So I think that is that is the most important thing when you open a barbershop. That you really build it around who you are. Because there will all there will always be a potential group of clients that will fit into your lifestyle. And I think that's really strong. I have a saying that, that, that really, I use that one a lot. Buying a guitar is not gonna make you a rock star. Yes, I mean, it's gonna help, but I think you should not just focus on your tools. If you wanna get good at something, and it doesn't matter what, practice, 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 practice. There are no shortcuts. There are, and you have to be in the business for the right reasons. Because what we see happening is uh, that people see rock stars, barbers on the Instagram and they want to become that. That's why they want to enter the business. But that's not the good reason. You have to be, uh, because you, you love hair, you love cutting hair, you love oh, owning a shop, Marta. you love working in a shop. That, that should be the focus um, of it all, not becoming um, like a celebrity, celebrity barber in three months, and uh, because that's not how it works. A secret trick. <laughs> Use as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the trick. <laughs> Combine and use as much as possible. You know, um, <laughs> men are the most loyal clients you can have. If you give a client a perfect haircut, right, he is going to be, the, the band of trust that you build when you show the haircut without a product is going to be so strong, in that position, a, a male client will literally buy everything that you show him, like, look, if you use this, you're gonna look that good tomorrow. Now, of course, you want your client to look good when he leaves your shop, but if a client looks his best the next day, he's gonna blame that product, yes? And once a, a guy trusts a product, he is never gonna use anything else. He might try something else, but it's gonna be his core product. Right? And, 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 he wants it all. And, yeah, because that is the thing, you know? It's like with the skateboards here, once you like a certain brand, you want not just the board, you want the shirt that, go, that goes with it, you know? That's how you gotta see your retailing, because men are very, very eager to have cool products, because they don't just buy a product, just the can, they wanna be part of a certain, 
culture. Uh, a culture, a subculture, right? Yeah, the, the photo shoots, for me, it's really important to stay creative. I really like making stuff. Nowadays, social media, we can't deny it. It is so, so important to be active on social media to show the world what you're doing, especially with Ruzo, because that's what I like about uh, the other question, or, well, actually, the thing you told me about the Korean men want to have their hair softer and not as aggressively styled. We do all these photo shoots, and if you saw them, we show that with the Ruzo product, you can do any kind of style, from very light styling grooming to very heavy grooming. So with the photo shoots, that's how you bring your product out in the world, right? And we really want to show like, look, it's not just your pompadour. You can literally do any hairstyle there is. He, he has that and he dreams about that. So if that's not coming out, he would go get mad. You know, see the Joker, something like that. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lane and Rob from Score and Barbers and Ruzo, uh, and we have just seen the photos of the Korean hairdressing award. Korean hairdressing award. Yeah. Yes participate if you want to grow your business right if you want to get your name out of there we have seen some amazing work and we're 100 percent sure that you can do better next year another one